Well, a Victoria woman who has survived breast cancer twice experienced a day-to-day -day that was full of excitement, everything from driving an exotic car to trying her hand at flying a seaplane. This has been a day she will never forget, and it's all thanks to uh, Blue Genie. Astrid Braunschmidt has her story. Blindfolded but surrounded by friends, Marjorie Woodroff had no idea what was in store for her this morning. <laughs> but then she met the experienced genie. I thought it was we were just coming down to, you know, talk about breast cancer. Instead, Marjorie got a dream day of unforgettable fun. Her friends from the Island Breaststrokers Dragon Boat team submitted her story. It was an easy choice. Marjorie has gone through breast cancer twice. Uh, she's founded our team and uh, she's been she's been the longest member. What are you feeling? Quite overwhelmed at the moment, quite honestly. Marjorie's day started with a ride in an exotic car from Three Point Motors, the Mercedes E550. Price tag, nearly $100,000. From the dealership to the Laurel Point Inn. <laughs> this is where Marjorie will stay tonight. If the genie, also known as Joshua Dawson, had the chance, this might have been the kind of day he would have planned for his dad. Well, my father passed away with cancer about six years ago, and um, I uh, took care of him while he was dying, and I always wanted to take him out just for a fun day, just to make him forget about everything, and I didn't get that chance. Dawson is no stranger to arranging unique outings. He created a business specializing in organizing unusual and fun gift experiences. In 2001, he sold it to a travel agency. Now he travels the world, granting wishes for people who have survived cancer. We just want to hope that they understand that there's people out there that care about them too, and uh, that uh, the world's not a negative place. Not so bad for Marjorie today. Next stop, the seaplane terminal. As if Marjorie wasn't flying high enough with all the surprises today, now you get to fly a plane. Oh, no, I can't believe it. This is just so, so exciting. An hour. That's all you do. It's not big. It flies by itself pretty much. But life and breast cancer has taught Marjorie to take nothing for granted. And as she soars above Vancouver Island today, she proves that there is life after breast cancer. It's amazing. It's yeah. wonderful. I'm very thankful. In Victoria, Astrid Braunschmidt, A News.